Hello and welcome to the Play Property Channel. I finally got myself all caught up from my computer fire and got rid of all my videos that were on my computer from before. So I'm kind of in the newer videos now. So uh, what, what I'm going to try to do now is the Mining Guild tie for the X-Wing uh, miniatures game. So I'm also trying a different setup here. With, I'm trying to exp experiment in here a little bit. Got a different little setup this time different lighting see how things go this is one I didn't have to wait for I mean open up to actually before I can use the ship because I actually bought more than one of these so I've had this one actually open up for a while <clears throat> Let's look at this. So you can see it's got the different of a cutout here on the side of the wings. Makes it, I guess it's supposed to help them with uh, looking at asteroids and stuff like that. I guess this is again a mining droid, so they're hanging out with all the asteroids. It's a beautiful ship, though. Got the insignia of the guild tie there, I guess. So let's look at the cards. the light there a little bit yeah this is definitely one I wanted for this scum you have in TIE Fighters is kind of interesting so I had to make sure I had a couple a couple for this uh, I guess we should probably show off the dial and a typical I think it's almost typical uh, TIE Fighter dial I mean, you do have the five strength, but it is a red. So there's a little bit of limitation there anyways. And then you still do the three. Uh, the three a turn. And you got the you got the blue two two turns. Or green or whatever they kind of change the color. I don't think my phone is. There we go. So we get the uh, form and approach here. So uh, before you engage, you may choose one of your ship in your bullseye at range one to two and gain one disarm token. If you do, the sh that ship gains one tracker tractor token. Gee, I can't speak today. And also the only go to get notch stabilizers while you move, you ignore asteroids. So that's kind of a benefit, especially if you're a newbie. And we got uh, Ahav, or Ahav, or I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, while you defend and perform an attack, if the enemy ship is a larger size than you, roll one additional die. That's kind of cool. That's while you defend or attack. You get to roll an extra die if the ship's larger. Captain Sevor. Uh, while you defend and perform an attack, prefer attack dice are rolled. If you are not in the enemy ship's bullseye, you may spend one uh, energy token. If you do, the enemy ship gains one jam token, and then that regenerates. That's actually pretty cool, too. Overseer you, 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 you shun. Uh, before a friendly ship at range one would gain a disarm token if that ship is not stressed. You may spend one charge. If you do, that ship gains one stress token instead. Again, that's also rechargeable. I kind of like it when you're getting abilities on your pilot, so it's rechargeable. Then you get the Mining Guild Surveyor. Mining Guild Sentry. Then you got your Quick Build. And let's see what we got for cards here. So you get elusive. If one charge, while you defend, you may spend one charge to reroll one defense die. After you fully execute a red maneuver, you recover one charge. Actually, that might be quite useful in the guild because you got the five as a red forward. You can kind of get out of the way, recharge it. 
The swarm tactics at the start of the engagement phase, you may choose one friendly ship in the range of one. If you do, the ship treats its initiative as equal to yours until the end of the round. You have a trick shot when I perform an attack that is disrupted by an obstacle, roll one additional attack dice. You get the hull upgrade for plus one. Static discharge veins. Before you gain one ion or jam token, if you are not stressed, you may choose another ship arranged zero to one and gain one stress token. If you do, the so ship gains that ion or jam token instead. And that's it for the cards. Yeah, so again, this is uh, the Mining Guild tie that we just uh, opened up here. Again, it's another... Beautiful ship in the X-Wing uh, game that I'm planning on using. i got to get some games games going for it. You know, it's kind of hard with COVID right now. It's really hard to press to even, like, I'm starting to even forget the rules. I need to get some games in. Um, yeah, so again, uh, remember to uh, play properly. And, uh, yeah, even if you don't play X-Wing, you know, these ships are actually, like, just for the model themselves, are just, they're just worth collecting. I must admit, it's just, it's just a beautiful game. Okay, and uh, yeah, remember to play properly.